Ah, Juventini. Ah, Juventini. Ah, Juventini. Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back to the channel, I'm extremely happy this morning, you see the big smile, today we'll speak about calcio mercato, mercato is crazy, mercato never sleeps, but you know that I realized this morning, better late than never, because tomorrow I celebrate my 30, 43rd birthday, I realized that only stupid people don't change their mind, I changed my mind on Milan Skriniar, I want Skriniar at Juve now in January, immediately. Yes, I know that until yesterday I told you that I didn't want him, that it was not worth the investment, I changed my mind. And not because of the first page of Gazzetta dello Sport that is telling us Juve Skriniar si può. Juve Skriniar, there is a possibility. No, there is one little detail that made me change my mind on the player and now I really want him is my priority for January. I will reveal you later, but pay attention, it's not over. We have a lot of things to speak about, like for example, Italy-Belgium, that is the game of Nations League, that starts to be extremely interesting for us, for Juventini, because today there will be a special guest, Cristiano Giuntoli, and on his list, players to observe, he has three players for Belgium. Two of the three I really like, mamma mia, it will be a dream. I don't know if it's possible or not, but I will reveal you these names later. Today we speak about Mercato with three defenders, three offensive players, and I already ask you, when we'll speak about these names, to let me know which one is your preferred one offensively and defensively here in the comment section. Now that we did the basic, with you of course liking the video and subscribing so that the community is starting to be bigger and bigger and bigger, we start with the flash news about Juve. What you should know about Juventus, what you can't miss about Juventus starting with today, an important day for Tön, Koop and for the Juventini because he will do some exams. He already did some with the Dutch national team, they send him back, Koop said, I can't. I feel some pain. He will do some uh, tests today in the J Medical and we will know a bit more about his situation. The ribs, ribs are actually, we don't know yet how serious is this, but today he will do some exams. Look, a lot of papers are saying that he might miss Lazio. Some people are saying that he might not only miss Lazio, but Lazio. Stuttgart and even possibly Inter. Some people are already comparing with the injury of Locatelli. Do you remember? 28 days when he had that problem until he was again a starter, even if he was always called up, but on the bench he couldn't start the games. Well, from what I heard from La Continassa, from Torino, they're telling us that at Juve at the moment, at today, they are not worried and they are confident that he could be on the field on uh, Saturday, because that's the game that we play against Lazio, not this Saturday, not tomorrow, but next week. So let's hope that the information that I got are correct. Now, of course, Juventus is thinking about the game of Juve Lazio of the 19th of October, because we know it now, it's confirmed Conceição will not be able to be called up because he has been banned. Nico Gonzalez would not recuperate. Wea could be there, but can he start? We don't know. For sure, he can't play 90 minutes. So we are thinking about another player, Tiago Mota is thinking about another player, calling up Livano Comenencia. Livano Comenencia, that's place with the next gen. He did also the tour in Herzogen Aurach with the team. At the end, three players were chosen. Jonas Rui, Nicolo Savona, he's doing fantastically well. Samuel Mbangula, that started extremely well also with the first team. The first goal of the season, official goal of the season, comes from the Belgian young striker. Well, Livano Comenencia could have a chance. Now, we are not saying that he will stay there for the rest of the season, but because we are in emergency, because we are missing these offensive wingers, he could be possibly a player that goes up and can give some support starting on the bench. Livano Comenencia is a super guy, super really nice guy. I had the opportunity to interview him. So hopefully uh, he can be called up. Look, Next Gen is not doing that great. He's not doing fantastically well. He played, I believe, only one game. He didn't start. The rest he started. He couldn't give his support to the team because the team is really in trouble at the moment. But you know, it has, sometimes they do that jump of category and they are able to shine. They are able to do that miracle that is needed, especially for being about one game only. Livano Comenencia could be called up. That's an anticipation of Tutto Sport. Tutto Sport is continuing with the Douglas Sveglia, Douglas Luis, wake up. Oh guys, Douglas Luis, wake up. I told him, I told you that we need to defend him, that we need to pay attention to him, that we don't have to be too harsh, but I think it's a total correct message. He needs to wake up. He needs to wake up, he needs to start performing, 
because of course we defend him, he's a bianconero, he's part of us, he's part of the family, but he needs to wake up, he needs to really, really wake up, and Thiago Mota will try in these days, because he has not been called up with Brazil, to shake him up, not only during the games, but also in training session, Thiago Mota is expecting a bit more from him in terms of intensity. So Thiago Mota, Colinet, Hugo, they will really work on the Douglas Ruiz. Maybe that international break will really wake him up and we will see a totally different one. The one that we saw, for example, with Aston Villa. Like Tielemans yesterday was speaking at microphones. He said about Douglas Ruiz, he said, I played with him. He's a fantastic player, super technical player. He has the technique, he has everything to succeed and he will get there. So hopefully the words of Tielemans are correct, someone that knows him. Yesterday, we know it, we did the watch along here. Thank you for the people that were following the channel. Volerenga against Juventus women, first game of Champions League group stages. Juventus won 1 0 away. Brava Juve with the goal of Sofia Cantore. What a beautiful team! What a beautiful team they played with their heart and they are back in Champions League. Grande, grande, grande Juve. And who knows, maybe one day Dorotea, Dorotea Del Piero can, can join them and maybe one day we'll be able to do a watch along and sing again Del Piero. Would be beautiful because yesterday she signed her contract, she will play with the under 17 and she also took the opportunity to make some pictures with Bonanzea, Rosucci, Girelli, Lenzini, etc, etc, etc. It's beautiful to see again Del Piero and Sonia, the wife, being there in Torino next to their daughter Dorotea. Now we go to, we start with Calcio Mercato. Six minutes, I went fast, huh? Now you know, you know everything that you needed to know about Juve, we go with Calcio Mercato. Le idee, the ideas of Cristiano Giuntoli that will be tonight in Roma, the first thing that he will monitor, it's a player that he already watched and followed a few days ago. We are speaking about Openda, Lois Openda, mamma mia. <laughs> mamma mia, what a player, what a player. Offensively, guys, that's the perfect player for Thiago Motta. This is the perfect player for Thiago Motta. There is no yes, there is no no, there is no doubt. I'm not even asking your opinion. Luis Openda is the perfect player. If we are watching now nine games of Thiago Motta at Juve, Openda at Juve, perfect. Eh? 24 years, young, made the big jump from Bruges to Lens, Belgium, Jupiter League, Ligue 1, Leipzig, Bundesliga. Leipzig since last year, scored a lot of goals, started this season extremely well. We watched him against Juve, only the post avoided him to score. What a player, what a fantastic player, Luis Openda. And today he will play against um, Juve and he will be there, who he, Cristiano Giuntoli, to monitor him. Look, he's a right foot player, he's young, but there is a problem, of course, there is a huge problem. <laughs> Leipzig, they spent the most money ever on the transfer on Luis Openda last summer. Not, the, not this one, the one before. 42 million euro, which is a lot, which is a lot of money. He has a contract until 2028. I don't know how easy and how possible this is. Then you never know in transfer market. Huh? Today we are speaking about uh, Dusan Vlaovic. We are speaking about Dusan Vlaovic that needs to extend his contract. I hope he extends. I hope we find a beautiful deal so that we are avoiding the Chiesa, the Dybala situation. But then you never know. Huh? You never know. He doesn't extend. He finishes on the market. And then you have, again, the money to put on the table. Then seeing Luis Openda leaving life after two seasons with the projects that they have there, you know also now Jurgen Klopp that will monitor all the Red Bull teams. I don't know. I don't know how feasible it is, but I tell you, if we are speaking about really a player that represent the idea of culture, of football, of Thiago Mota, Openda is a player. And today, if we do a watch along, it will be my number one player that I will observe. There are other players also in that list of offensive players. There is Luke Bacchio Dodi, you know, Luke Bacchio, the Belgian player, another Belgian player that is playing at Sevilla. He's already 27, he's uh, taller than Openda. He's a different player, but he's fast, he's able in dribbling, he's really good in aerial uh, play. He's a good player, but that would not be my favorite choice. That would not be my favorite choice, I tell you immediately. And then there is a third name offensively that is Maldini, not Paolo, not Cesare, but Daniel Maldini. Daniel Maldini, pay attention, eh? pay attention. 
I first looked at the ID card because I was thinking he was younger, but actually he's 22. And tomorrow there was that beautiful link between Daniel Maldini and Beppe Bognani, me. We are born on the same day. Tomorrow he will be 23. Tomorrow I will be 43. So we have 20 years of difference. So he's already not that young anymore. If you're speaking about, you know, that young talent, he needs a bit of his time to explode, to become actually a valid player. I think it was the player that I mentioned in my top three of the unknown young players that would do extremely well this year at uh, in Serie A. He started really well with Monza, just both from Milan, so he's really a Monza player, but pay attention because there is also Inter on them. Mamma mia, a Maldini at Inter, what a disaster. Uh, and then you also have Galliani. will Galliani sell him? But pay attention because today they are also speaking about USA people, American people that are about maybe to make an offer to buy Monza. And then it will not be Galliani anymore that will choose. But uh, no, they are on player. Now, pay attention, there is a condition. Milan, they have a clause in the contract. So if there is a team that is offering X money, if Milan is putting X money, the same exact money as the other, Milan has the priority on the player. So that's a decision of Milan. If not, if Monza sells him, 50% of the money goes to Milan. So pay attention because it's not as easy as we think. Daniel Maldini, do I want him at Juve? Yeah. Because at least for once, the dream of his father will be completed. Because, you know, with Paolo Maldini, huge Juventini. He said it publicly many, many times. Huge Juventino. Oh, having the son there at Juve would be beautiful. Would be a really extremely beautiful story. Born on the 11th of October, like me. A Maldini at Juve. You know, fulfilling the dream of his father. And then we have Wea, We have Turam. We have, uh, who else? Uh, Conceição. And we start having a lot of, we have Del Piero. Like, we love these kinds of, you know, sons and daughters of big legends. On the other side, if I'm totally honest, I like Daniel Maldini, but if I have to choose, I go for Openda. But of course, really extremely difficult. On the other side, pay attention, eh? because today I open Gazzetta dello Sport and on page 24, or no, page 20, who do I see? Domenico Berardi, he's always there, he's always there, and what he's saying, he's saying, I'm back, and now I want a big team, it's years that I'm dreaming about Champions League, and I also want to go back to La Nazionale, disaster, no, no. <laughs> go to Inter, go to Milan, go wherever you want, but not to Juve, no, basta, 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 basta Berardi, basta Berardi, Domenico, and hey, the train has gone, why is Belgium, Italy, or Italy, Belgium, extremely important. I told you, Juntoli will be there to observe up and down, but it's not the only player that he will observe. Because there are two other players that he will observe in the center of the defense. Fass and the Bast. I start with Fast, 27 from Leicester. Not a bad player. I appreciated his Euro, even if a lot of people, they criticize his Euro, I appreciate it. But honestly, there is one player that makes me dream, is Zeno the Bast. Mamma mia. Zeno the Bast, I don't know if I said it here on the channel, I said it to Luca Momblano in the summer, I said that's the player that we need to go for, that's the player that we need to sign, that's really the player that we need to sign, a player that is uh, really, really, really not bad at all, he's playing at Sporting, has been signed by uh, Sporting this summer, he's 20, he's young, um, he's physical, he's good, has a fantastic, beautiful foot, right foot. Mamma mia, he scored a goal in Champions League that is incredible. Uh, comes from Anderlecht, has been born in uh, Halle. Halle is, um, I mean, a few a few meters from where I live, guys. It's really close to where I live. Uh, Belgian player, born also him uh, in October, 24th of October. But uh, a good player, Zeno the Bast. Look, I like that idea. Of course, it will not be for January. They signed him, I believe, for a... For, for a few money, so you will need to invest a bit more if you want to have him after one season in Portugal, then you never know. But Zeno the Bast is a player that, uh, pay attention, because it's the name of one of the next generation beautiful defenders. He can play on the left side and the right side as a center back. Like, for example, today we'll play a bit more on the left side. So pay attention to Zeno the Bast, pay attention to Openda, pay attention to Fas. But then we go towards a name because Bremer is injured today. So we need a name to solve our problems today. I mean, today. Today we will play with uh, Cabal, with Danilo, with uh, Gatti, with Kalulu, but then a name from January on. I think that we really need a player like this. 
and that player, that opportunity could have been Sergio Ramos, could have been whatever name. But Juventus, they don't want that free Asians players. They have one in mind that could possibly be Skriniar immediately. Skriniar said it, huh? he revealed it on the papers. I'm not happy with the situation. I knew that I would play less. They told me that I would play less. But now he didn't play at all. He played like one game from the start and then he entered in a second game, two games on nine for Milan Skriniar that has been uh, taken from Inter. We all remember that, has been taken for Inter to be the, the next starter next to Marquinhos. And he's not. He's not. There are uh, two other defenders that are playing more than him on top of Marquinhos. So he's the fourth choice. Situation is not making him happy. Paris Saint-Germain are paying a lot. 10 million euro salary for Milan Skriniar. And that's the thing, Juventus can't allow themselves to give 10 million euro to Milan Skriniar. Juventus probably can't go and sign him. But we are speaking here about a loan, and that's the beautiful opportunity. A loan for Milan Skriniar for the remaining part of the season, for six months, so that you are able to put him in the picture, to relaunch the player, and then probably going back to Paris Saint-Germain or staying there or being sold because he has been put in the window, which Paris Saint-Germain is not doing with uh, Luis Enrique. So they are just paying a player for not playing. And that's the beautiful opportunity on loan to Juve. Six months, well, you don't pay 10 million anymore because half will already be paid. If 6 million or 5 million are remaining in the contract to pay for the end of the season, well, you can even ask for uh, a support from Paris Saint-Germain because we are playing the player, because we are launching him, who knows, maybe with a 3-4 million euro salary, that's what we can do. Maybe a total package of 5 million with a small loan fee for Paris Saint-Germain, and that's where we are speaking about a beautiful opportunity, 29 years. Then you never know, huh? then you never know. They, he's doing that beautiful, he's doing that well, that they found a way to decrease his contract because he wants to play, but these are talks for the future, but immediately now. But why am I changing opinion, guys? Not only because all of the things that I tell you that make sense, because this morning I was reading Gazette de los Sport. And we are, when you're reading that page, when you're reading that page, you see below, in a small box there that they're writing, Alinter Seianni. He was at Inter for six years with a Scudetto and then the goodbye for free, leaving Inter. Below, they are even explaining you how it went. From the stars to the farms, dalle stelle alle stalle. This is how they described it today. But you know, the only thing, the big thing, the big change that made me change my mind on that player is that emoji, the sad emoji. No, but ragazzi, we're speaking about Gazzetta dello Sport. Looks like they are sad. Looks like they are crying. They are scared to see Milan Skriniar at Juve. From the moment that they realized, they understood that there is the, really that possibility, they cry. But what kind of emoji is that? Guys, I, don't, I really don't understand. What is Gazzetta dello Sport doing? I mean, you, you don't have to give me your opinion. At least, if you want to give me your opinion, explain me. But not with that kind of emoji. A player linked to Juve because he was there six years at Inter. Now you're a bit sad. You're crying. What, what does that even mean? I don't understand. I really don't understand. And watching that this morning made me totally change my mind. You know, I want not only that they have, you know, that drop of sweat. Like I'm, uh, I'm a bit worried that, that he goes to, to Juve. Uh, I, I really want that they are crying. They are crying, 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 crying because we did really well in taking him and uh, him with Kalulu, with Gatti, or maybe Kalulu on the right side, Gatti partnership with Skriniar, could really be a, another wall, replacing temporarily Gleison Bremer, waiting for the Brazilian player to come back. No, but disaster, disaster. That was the really the thing that made me totally change my mind this morning. I don't know you guys. Let me know what you think about Skriniar. Let me know what you think about uh, uh, the things that we play, uh, spoke about, Livano Comenencia, Douglas Ruiz that needs to wake up, about Tön Kopeners, the medical test that we will know a bit more. Let me know about Berardi. Let me know about Openda, Zeno de Bast, uh, Fast. All of you in the comment section. Grazie, forza. You bet.